Hey guys, I'm Lou Siding Invest and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going through my investment portfolio as of the end of March 2021. This is a beginner's portfolio and it's worth around £10,876. Um, if you're new around here, please subscribe to the channel and please leave a comment and a like on this video. It does, it does wonders for me and it does wonders for the YouTube algorithm getting my video out there to more people. If you're interested in investing and want more investing content for myself, why don't you become one of my followers over on Vinny? Vinny is a platform where investors are making content online and sharing their investing ideas. Um, so yeah, head over there and subscribe to me and follow me on Vinny for exclusive content. Uh, from this week, I'm going to be posting on there more consistently, so please do check it out if you are interested in more of my content. Anyway, let's get on to the video. This is not a recommendation. This video should be seen as a source of information and education only. Please seek a regulated financial advisor if you are unsure of any investment. So yeah, for anyone new around here, let's go through the portfolio details and my target allocation. I like to do this on each video for any new people watching so they get an idea for what my uh, investment thesis and um, what my aim is for, for the portfolio. This is basically just a summary of all my investments outside of property, all bundled together. There we go, that's my portfolio. Anyway, so yeah, the target allocation, um, so I am looking to invest in individual stocks, um, world index funds, emerging market index funds, Bitcoin, gold, um, amongst other things such as unlisted investments, that's the one I forgot. <laughs> um, and yeah, you'll see it later on in the video, I'm gonna be adding to this list, so that's a surprise for later for you all to stay tuned for. Um, but yeah, anyway, my benchmark for the portfolio is the FTSE All World Index, which is uh, one of the main indexes in the UK, uh, one of the main world indexes in the UK. Uh, it covers 95% of um, global stock market allocation, um, sorry, market capitalization. Um, and then, yeah, so at the moment, my portfolio, my time weighted return is 35% compared to the FTSE All World Index is 37.7%. So yeah, slightly lagging behind still, um, but slowly but surely getting there. And I'm hoping in the next couple of months I'll be soon beating that, um, uh, beating the index, which will be fantastic for myself. Anyway, let's get on to uh, my performance so far. So yeah, as you can see from my chart below, my best performing assets are Bitcoin, my enlisted investment, and my individual stocks. Uh, then some of the worst performers, performers are gold, um, alongside some of the emerging market index funds and the FTSE All World Index, which they have, they're all ones I've re recently invested in. Um, I all hold these assets for different reasons, which I've gone, gone, on, gone on to explain in other videos, um, but that's just a brief overview of what my performance has been, a brief overview. Uh, then on the next bit, I'll go through some, some more of the um, stocks in more in depth, uh, and you'll see more of a breakdown of each asset within the sub asset class if that makes sense so, and you'll see free traders increase a bit which I will go on to explain how I've calculated their return. So yeah on an individual basis Berkshire Halfway and Bank of America have been two fantastic performers for me. Alongside this Discovery has been a good performer but recently I was had a bit of a pullback because uh, I was cut, I was up about nearly 200% on that stock at one point so this has really decreased um, but I still think they're a fantastic company nevertheless. Uh, you'll also see that Bitcoin is up over 900%, which is absolutely mental. Um, I still can't get my head around this, so who knows. Uh, I'm earning interest in my Bitcoin still um, through BlockFi. Uh, link in the description if you want some free Bitcoin. Little plug there. <laughs> and then um, you'll see that free trade have increased up to nearly 200%, uh, which is absolutely fantastic, which I will, I will go on to later in the video. Um, but yeah, that's a brief summary of my individual picks, um, bit by bit, so you can see, have a look on the table and pause the video if you want a more in-depth look. So yeah, you're probably thinking, Lewis, you've bought nothing, you sold nothing. Yeah, literally, I have done nothing this month. Not bought anything, not sold anything, just been very static. Uh, it's been quite, um, quite a nice feeling not having bought or sold anything. Um, it's just showing that you don't need to buy and sell constantly when investing. Uh, most of the time we've invested in, it's about being patient, 90% of investing is just sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> Honestly, that's literally what it is. Um, you do your analysis, you do the work, and then you invest, and then you let compounding do its thing. Um, obviously, you do review your investments and stuff, but you don't need to be looking for the next hot stock. 
you do your research, you get your companies slash assets you want to invest in and then just go for it. Uh, that's one thing I'm learning more and more. It's not actually that important researching all these different things. It's just getting getting invested, putting the, put the work, investing, and then letting time compound, let time work in your favor and compound, compounding work for you. Um, but yeah, going forward, there will be a bit more action going on. So I've got a new asset class coming in, uh, which I, I did tease you a bit there early on in the video. I'm not going to tell you till next time. Um, I'd like to keep it a bit of a secret for now. But it is an interesting one, and I think you'll all it'll all perk your ears up on onto as to why I've done this. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get on to um, the biggest action of the month, which is free trade. Uh, so yeah, let's get right to it. So yeah, you may have seen my investment in free trade. Um, yeah, so I invested in free trade through Crowdcube back in 2019 and 2020. Uh, they have crowdfunded most years for the past three or four years, I believe, um, and they have grown absolutely massively since. And I, it's actually where I hold most of my investments, uh, most of my stock market investments with them. Uh, but anyway, I'm investing in free trade, uh, and my average share price is like one pound twenty-six. And the current rate, their current Series B raise, which was led by Left Lane Capital, L. Catterton and Draper Esprit, um, the current share price is three pound seventy-seven. So for me, um, this is absolutely fantastic. Of course, uh, it's, it, basically my investment is up nearly two hundred percent. Uh, which is absolutely fantastic and I'm expecting this to continually rise for the next couple of years. So I'm a very happy user and investor. Uh, but no, this is just showing that crowdfunding investments can work in the right, um, in the right, what's the word? In the right circumstance, crowdfunding investments can work. So we're seeing with Revolut and Monzo, Nutmeg, um, quite a few other companies that if you can successfully analyze and work out if this business is gonna work well, you can get the returns. Um, so and, and I invested late. I invested in round five of free trade. So there's people who, who invested in round one and round two. I think round one, the the shares were seven p. So you're talking about a, <laughs> astronomical return, life changing money returns. And I think it, free trade will go public in the next three years. But I'm expecting my return to be absolutely mental. So. Yeah, who knows what their return is going to be. But yeah, like I said, I think it's important to have a look at different um, asset classes, especially during this low interest rate environment where investing in the stock market isn't necessarily going to produce you great returns. Um, like if you invest in the indexes right now, you're probably expecting a 4% return, which let's be totally honest, isn't going to uh, be satisfactory for some people. It isn't for myself. Uh, this is why I'm looking at different asset classes and looking if I can use them to give me returns. And then overall, my portfolio will do better than the world stock market. That's kind of my idea and thinking. Anyway, that was a bit of a tangent, but yeah, anyway, so that's basically the in the know of my uh, free trade investment. Um, if you'd like to know more about free trade, uh, myself and Shane Train of Yolt Investor have just done an interview with Sam Polan, who is the Associate Director of Marketing of Free Trade. Absolutely fantastic interview. And if you go onto my channel, you'll be able to watch it and learn more about free trade and a few bits which have been going now over the past couple of months. I teased this before, but yeah, the new asset class is not going to be real until the April update, which will be done in a month's time. Um, I'm going to keep this a secret because it's an absolutely massive opportunity for myself. Um, and I think it's going to perk up a lot of interest. So you will have to stay tuned and wait till next month to find out. I might keep put, putting a few hints on my Instagram stories, etc. But you'll, you will have to wait until a month's time. So anyway, yeah. That's literally it for today's video. Very short, there's not much to report on my portfolio. Um, if you'd like to see more on the portfolio itself, go to lewisaddinginvest.com and you can have a look at my investment portfolio online and you can have a look at my returns, etc. and a few comments, basically this video in word format. Um, so yeah, <laughs> very short for my portfolio update, but it is what it is for this month, isn't it? So yeah, if you would like, if you, like, if you would like to know what services and um, providers I do recommend, go over to my website as well and go to my recommendations page where you can uh, find links to brokers and get free shares, uh, get free Bitcoin, free trials, and the full library of books which I recommend for investing in personal finance and self-development. Uh, so yeah, please go over there and take a look. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it'll add some value to you all. And as I said before, head over to Vinny if you'd like more investing content. Anyway, thank you very much for watching today's video. I will see you next time.